problem solving. Now, let's say if you have an issue that you need to discuss. And like I said, that's why I chose brainstorming before this. Uh, and you get onto a problem solving meeting. Now, the key is you have to separate the problem from the person. Okay. Most of the time when we get into these discussions of issues, uh, problems, we actually land up bashing the person uh, who was responsible. Okay. So remember that as a facilitator, you have to separate the problem and the person. Okay. We will deal with the person. All right. But right now the meeting is about the problem. Okay. Yes. How it happened is the key. Yeah. We know that this person did something because of which has happened. That's fine. But now the question is, what are we going to do about it? How are we going to solve it and how we will ensure that this doesn't happen. All right. Remember that then you'll also have to make sure now in problem solving, the key is to document everything. Okay. It's very, very important because people within the group, within the organization should not feel that you took only care of the problem and you didn't do anything with the person. So you have to make sure that what is it that you're going to do with the person as well who created the problem. Now, here are some tips. If the problem is fairly, even if it's a complex one, you need to understand, you need to sit with the team member. And before you close the whole cycle of problem solving, you got to first got get the problem resolved, make sure that the work is moving on, sit with the team member, understand what happened, right? It could be something that, you know, how many times it has happened with this team member. So based on all this information that you'll collect, you'll understand whether the team member needs to go through a certain bit of training, a certain bit of understanding, maybe a, a buddying up might help. Okay. So you have to take it further. <clears throat> so that was the third one, problem solving. 